So yeah, we we did quite a few things and achieved many things together. What I would call shared ikigai experiences. And so the first was starting this English conversation school together. That was a leap of faith for you to start a business with a total stranger. So why did you start that business with me? <laughs> <laughs> um, I quickly recognize you as a honest and funky <laughs> person <laughs> who is serious about starting a business with me. And I don't know. I don't know why, but um, I just thought we we could get along well. Yeah, it was uh, you know, we've never really reminisced on this, so it's it's fun to do this on this podcast. And yeah, that was you know a challenging and exciting experience, and we were starting from nothing. So we we had to find students. You had to create a website. We had to advertise, create a curriculum do so many things. So it was kind of high risk for me in a way because I was leaving a pretty good job. I had a four-day week job with, a, I guess, a full-time income and security in that job, but I just couldn't stand teaching there anymore. And so, yeah, we both obviously thought this is worth, worth doing. And, yeah. yeah, it was a very meaningful experience, I think, we had lots of fun. We had challenges. And of course, we had this social dimension to the school because we had all these people from Tajimi, your community, join. So when I look back on these memories of the school, I now see it was this ibash hall for some of our students, that their place to, to be themselves. So, yeah, I think many students came to our school just because it was a carefree, comfortable place where they could meet other people and connect. So what what do you think? Do you think it was an Ibasho? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly Ibasho for many people. Uh, They say they feel comfortable here and they can have a relationship with others without family, co-workers or school, school friends. This makes them feel safe. Yeah. 